And with him, my family, and my strength, I will continue on, and I will be her voice. I will be at every parole hearing. I will fight again till I take my last dying breath to make sure that you never you see what you've done. You don't deserve it. She did not deserve what happened to her. You see, look how many friends and family she has. And it's not just the ones in here. And she has a man upstairs. If you have any ounce of conscience, a respect for your family, because you've also put them through the same pain and suffering too. See, you took their son away from them. And if you truly care and want to make things better, do the right thing. Enough is enough. Giving up will never, ever be an option in my book or her family's book. I will not allow anything else to be taken from me. Explain Christina best. So I'm not going to go there. I'm just going to talk to you, Enrique. I see you smirking. It doesn't seem to bother you a bit what you did. She put her trust in you to walk her to her car. over a year to try to write down the words of the impact that Christina's disappearance has had. Because it changes every single day. There is so much we all miss. There is so much we looked forward to.
What that mean? Can you look me in the eye? How can you continue to torture us? How can you sit there and not tell us what happened to our girl? We've spent these two years searching, worrying, praying. Why? Why would you choose to create this much suffering? You can't take it back. You can't fix it. But there's still one piece of right you could still do to keep some little part of human in you. You took our love. You took our daughter. You took our sister. In doing so, you took our birthdays, our holidays, our traditions, our life. We won't ever forget because she is a part of us. She was not yours to take. Please, I beg you, let me bring my daughter home. <laughs> Let's bring Christina home. If there is anything left in you, in your soul that has any care or compassion for anything or anyone, you will tell me where she is. You will let me bring her home. And if you choose not to, I don't think there will ever be forgiveness for you in this life or the next one. Because that's an evil that just you can't fix. You can live your life and not tell us where she is and continue to torture everyone in this way. Are you bad? Is there any man left in you? Johnny, let's go back on the record. that be his form regarding his right to appeal? Uh, it is, Judge, and <coughs> I've provided him a copy of that, and uh, it would be my understanding or impression that we do not need to have any additional hearings regarding indigency, indigency for purposes of appeal. If we do, we can do that on the record. Uh, unless I hear he's won the lottery or otherwise come into some money, he's presumed to be indigent. Stand up, Mr. Orochi. Mr. Orochi, having assessed your sentence at life confinement in the state penitentiary, is there any reason in law why I should not impose sentence at this time? No, Your Honor. 
Mr. Orochi, it is the order, judgment, and decree of this court that you be taken by the sheriff of Collin County and by him safely held until he can turn you over to an authorized agent of the Texas Department of Criminal Justice Correctional Institutions Division, wherein you will serve a life sentence. I will give you credit for your back time. That's from December 13th of 2014 until today. I also am required by law to tell you this, Mr. Orochi. You have the right to appeal the judgment of this court. If you desire to appeal, you must give written notice of appeal to the clerk of this court within the time period specified by the Texas Rules of Appellate Procedure, generally 30 days from the date of sentence. If you desire to appeal and you are indigent, the court will appoint an attorney to represent you on appeal. If you are not indigent, you will be required to hire your own attorney and to pay for the appellate record. If your appeal is unsuccessful, you have the right to file a pro se petition for discretionary review with the Court of Criminal Appeals in Austin, again within the time period specified by the Texas Rules of Appellate Procedure. Have you got your copy of that form there, Mr. Roger? Yes, sir. Any questions? No, sir. Deputy, take him into custody. He's your prisoner. Have a seat, gentlemen. That'll conclude this matter. We're off the record. Yes. Sir.